what's happening uh, I just wanted to make this quick video here to say thank you to rest quick electric uh, for coming up with this blocker and electrical branch trap based design um, I think it's an awesome concept that will piss off a lot of people um, I just had a couple of issues with it um, one being that was something I'd read in the comments about, you know, whether or not somebody can disconnect and then once they're disconnected, will the sensor pick their body up or not? I don't know. And if if it does not, then the door will open and allow one of their buddies to pick up all their stuff. So there's that, and I'm not sure if that's even a thing, but uh, what really kind of bothered me personally is um, I couldn't use the airlock design that I wanted the way I wanted. Um, I'll show you real quick. And I think even in, in his video, um, the door is open like this, I believe, to let people in. And what would happen is, you know, I would set off the sensor maybe about here. And half the time it would kick me out like that, or the other half the time it would push me in. So I just didn't like that unknown of am I going to or am I not going to trap somebody. Um, and then, you know, if you put the door here using the electrical branch and the blocker setup, um, you know, you, you go in, it's going to shut that door, but then as soon as you go out of view, it's going to open back up again. And I don't like that because this is the style of base that I use and I'm not going to compromise. Um, so here is what I came up with. Memory cell, timer, splitter, um, I've got this set for four seconds. Usually I'll set it for one second um, just to do a quick reset in case there's other people outside your base, but um, activate it. That'll give me enough time to get out of the way. Um, so both doors open. And I walk up. Both doors shut. Difference. That one will open if I walk out. And that one will not. So it just guarantees that no matter what, uh, your victim's trapped in your base. Um, and I'll show you real quick how to uh, how to do this. Empty, empty, empty. This is the first few times that I used this memory cell. It just confused the absolute shat out of me. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your power from your solar panel or whatever device you're using. Um, go to your master switch, power in, and then the output is going to go to the splitter, which will then power each one of these three devices. Okay, and then we're going to take the output from the timer. That's going to go to the reset on the memory cell. And then the set will go to the output on the HBHF. And you want to make sure you have inverted output going to the, mem not the memory cell, the, uh, the door controller. And then you're going to have to make sure you set the time. Usually it starts at like 30, but I just set it for 1. Activate it. Yeah, see, 1 second doesn't get me enough time to get away. But um, it will work, I promise. And uh, one more quick thing I want to show you. To hide the solar panel, because um, most people don't have you know access to a generator early game. Um, and if they have a solar panel on top of the base, the first thing anybody is going to be thinking when they come up to it is, oh shit, how am I going to get trapped? So uh, this isn't my design, but I saw somebody else do this. Um, basically, you're going to build your one by two if you don't have enough resources, you can, you know, you can start by just, uh, you know, making this wood here or making this one wood uh, is totally fine too, depending on which direction you know your major light source is. But in this case, the sun is over there, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and build it that way.
So you just go as close as you can to the edge. Doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty close anyways. And then uh, put your roof down. Make sure it says 20 there under empty. And uh, you've got power that cannot be detected. All right, again, thanks original creator for making this design. Um, it's awesome. I'm going to use it a lot. And uh, that's all I got. So thank you and have a good one.